works. So we're trying to, in a sense, build in the idea of real life experience within the, 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 within modules that we, we use. Basically, they learn a number of skills. So first of all, is about uh, having to work together. Uh, I think that some teams find that very easy, others less easy. And then there is an element of reflection as well, uh, which again is linked to the assessment. So they need to, it's not just about working together, it's also about reflecting how did that go and whether that helped in relation to the business and in relation to the decisions. Students who play these games uh, have an effect on other students. And if they play them as teams or businesses, then, then they will uh, really experience what's going on in, in, in a real life situation. But often these problems they look at could not be solved independently. They would have to be solved uh, in, in some cooperative way. And I think, again, this is, this is an area where the simulation builds in real life experiences in, in a very good way. It's also about looking at the situation and having to decide what to do without no one telling you what is it. You don't, won't find the answer in a book. Your lecturer cannot give you the answer. So they really have to think about it. So the theory yeah. isn't isolated on its own. The theory is always positioned in context to the practice. The students are managing a footwear company, so a trainers or sneakers uh, company. And this home screen provides a little snapshot of different pieces of information which are accessible elsewhere in the simulation. They discuss, they reflect, um, they interrogate data, they question things they've done in a cooperative way. And I, again, I think this is you know, an authentic way uh, the students can learn and the simulation really is a, is a great vehicle to help them do that.